haven't seen him over on the right hand side. Stamp. Janino again. Beck. Janino all the way. A beauty. Brazilian magic. And the Middlesbrough fans bang the samba. The rhythm's begun. was on his way to Wembley, not just once but twice. A dream come true for the people's champion and his adoring fans. You guess who's your favourite player? Juninho. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's class. It's class. Yes. Yes. 
What does Wembley mean to to players in England? Is it special? Uh, very special because uh, every game in, in, in Wembley is, is the final, is a, a very important game. So it's, it's important uh, most for for English player. So have an uh, opportunity that that play in, in wonderful ground. Training at Bisham Abbey under the watchful eye of Brian Robson, Janinho looked every inch the thoroughbred, preparing for the big stage. Who's your favourite player? Janinho. You like Janinho. Why, why do you like Janinho? Because I think he's good at scoring goals. Why are you so confident? Because we've got the best team in the country at the moment, I do believe that. We've got the best player in the country, I know that, Janinho. Uh, we're, 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 I think we're, we're the form team at the moment, so I'm quite confident we can put it over on Leicester. I saw them pl as play them the other week and we took them apart, so I think we'll do it tomorrow. Have a nice big open pitch, players who can perform on the big stage, like Janinho, like Rav, like Emo, like Beck, you know, the list goes on. I've watched over the last 20, 30 years every cup final has ever been, and I've dreamt of Middlesbrough my team being there tomorrow we go there we're there um, you know if we win great I mean but we're there we're at Wembley major cup final I can't I can't ask for any more I mean from my supporting oh you know win great lose we'll still be bloody singing I mean there's no two ways about it who's your favorite player Juninho you like Juninho do you who's yours They're at Wembley, they're at Trafalgar Square on midnight just before the game. Honesty. Look at that. Honest. Honest. Yeah. The worst that I've ever Best thing since sliced bread, isn't he, Janino? It's the best thing I've seen in the Middlesbrough shirt. Janino. Janino. Ravanelli tried to get it back. Benjamino struggling his way through somehow. Ravanelli! How much? Disappointment? Are you feeling? <laughs> I can't explain my disappointment because the the game was in, in our hands. So, but sorry, never mind. We we have to think now in the the next game to play. Borough fans will never forgive the FA for the punishment that would eventually mean relegation and the end of Janino's love affair with Teesside. The board considers that a deduction of three points and a fine of £50,000 is right and fair. I'm just saying Middlesbrough have reached the FA Cup final puts a smile on supporters' faces. Is it the sort of game you can now lift yourself up from the disappointments of yesterday? Yeah, it was. we had a, 
for me, a great season. We had great games. We we proved that we we have a good team. Uh, we get to cup finals. So we have to prove that we we have a good team. On on Saturday, we we have we have beat Chelsea at home, and we have chance to beat uh, again. Chelsea is a, a team that like play the ball. And when we we play the team like Chelsea, we play very well. Uh, you finished number one in the fans' vote of Borough's favourite players, and you finished number two with the players' vote. You've only been here two seasons, Janinho. Is, is it pleasing to, to to be given these these plaudits from from fellow players, from the fans? They like you. Yeah. <clears throat> very pleased for me. Um, I came here to to help Middlesbrough win something. So we didn't get yet in the, in the league in the in the cup. We have we have a chance now in the in the FA Cup. So I'm very I'm very glad to to the fans show me best, the best player here. So I had no opportunity to to watch players like Burns uh, play. Uh, so I can talk about these players because just looking in the in the video, that's not not the same. So I'm very glad. In the book, 70s star man Graham Souness won the vote for Borough's number one all-time player. But for many, Janinia will always be the number one, despite missing out on this occasion. I'll tell you who's in second position. He's not been with us too long, but he certainly is a Borough hero. He joined the Borough for 4.7 million pounds from Sao Paulo, Juninho. Bobby, with Janino, uh, no, old, old and the new, say some oh, of the fans of my yeah. age. I like to the old, yes, it is tremendous. That, uh, we love watching them on the television, you know, we're up far away up in Scotland, but uh, the, only, the only one is Janino. He doesn't know that my children were, went to school here and uh, they always watched Borough matches on television. And he's a man. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know of Bobby Murdoch? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, I had no no chance to to watch that that's great players mm. uh, in the action. Mm -hmm. So McQueen, Gordon McQueen, told me about him that he was was a wonderful player, played from the Celtic. Mm -hmm. So I I can talk, I can say. Uh, Lot things because I, I did what that play, but if he if he wasn't in the book, uh, I'm sure that he, they uh, went a good play. Uh, and obviously a European champion as well, Bobby Murdoch. European when he was champ, with, yeah. Uh, yeah. I played against a uh, racing club, mm -hmm. Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. Argentina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in, the, in the final. In the final. Yeah, uh, uh, the World Club Championship. Oh. We lost. Just <laughs> we won, we won you one game, final. lost one game, mm -hmm. and then lost another game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, phew, Argentinians, man, uh, oh, so <laughs> it, it? chop, chop, chop. Have uh, to be uh, careful uh, with your uh, legs. Yes, <laughs> have, uh, what do you think of Middlesbrough supporters, the fans? Great, great. Very, um, they they supported you in, in, in bad bad moments. That's the the. Real supporters, when when supporters you in the bad things in the bad moments, so that's the the great support. Because you may face a very difficult decision. We don't know how it's going to turn out. There may come a point shortly where you might have to decide to leave to keep your Brazil position for France World Cup '98, yeah. uh, and in the foremost of your mind. Yeah. How difficult, from the supporters' point of view, would it be for you to leave Middlesbrough? Would you miss the supporters, the fans? Yeah, I will. I have to think in my my career. I'm I'm young, I'm still young, so I have to think in in my career. I have to do what's best for me. And if I live in Middlesbrough, I will miss the the support. I will miss the the friends that I I made here. You looked at Higgy there as your friend. Yeah, he's my friend. Yeah. And you miss all that? that, that yeah, was... I miss mean, all that because we, we had a great season, uh, great fun. Yeah, so 
I, I, of course, when you leave it, when you leave a team that you played for two years, you miss a lot of things. Have you made your mind up yet? Do you know what you're doing? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. No. Would you, if 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 Zagallo was to talk to Brian Robson and say, Juninho is is certain of playing for Brazil in France in the World Cup, um, irrespective of whether he's in Premiership or First Division, would you still like to stay? <laughs> That's uh, Zagallo can say that too. He can say that. No, he can say that to to Brian. So in Brazil, uh, every month come come a new player. So you have to to be fit. You have to play well all the games to 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 keep in the Brazil squad. So it's very difficult to Zagallo uh, watch me in the in the first division. We have had something come back on the internet. Somebody spoken to Zagallo and said, he, you are certainly in his plans, firmly in his plans for World Cup 90. That's true, that's true. That came from Sao Paulo to, so. to here. So. Yeah. Does that please you? When, despite all what's happening, Middlesbrough have been relegated, but still to have news like that coming from Brazil, does, yeah, that, does that make yeah, you happy? Yeah, yeah, make me happy, yeah. Is that, it's very important for me, playing the national team. It's the most important for me in my career in the moment. To wear number 10? Yeah, yeah. Or oh, number ten, number seven, whatever. You'd wear it is. Anything, because you have won nine, haven't you, for mm -hmm. Brazil? Nine, and I played with seven too. Mm. Would you like ten on because of Zico and Pele? Yeah, if I play, it's no mind, no let's, mind the number. Let's bring Higgy into this. Now I'm not going to ask you if you want to play for Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need for that? Juninho says, you know, he's, he's, you're a good friend of his. Would it be sad for you as an individual to see somebody like Juni leave? Ah, of course it was. I mean, it, not just because of his skills and his talent on the pitch, but because he's a little character as well. You know, he's, uh, he's fantastic to have around the dressing room. He's picked English up brilliant. I know he, he's tried it 100% in every game he's played. Um, but he's a little character. He's a lot funnier than what he looks now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that tie for the Coca-Cola final. The tie? The tie you wore with the suit. You didn't like it, did you? No, it was a terrible tie. Yeah, but you see his dress sense is, is minging anyway, isn't it? You're a bad dresser. He, 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 he clothes is very bad. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes with the yellow tie and uh, dark, dark blue. Do you not like suit. yellow? Huh? Do you not like yellow? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you, I like it. When he wears You don't like yellow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>